This is the Music History Today podcast for October 17th. On today's show, an earthquake postpones the start of a band, RCA is founded, and Leonard Skinner releases its last album with Ronnie Van Zandt. First up, though, on this date in 1919, the company RCA was founded. In 1945, band leader Artie Shaw married actress Ava Gardner. In 1952, country music singer Hank Williams Sr. married his wife, Billie Jean Jones. In 1957, Elvis Presley's film Jailhouse Rock premiered in movie theaters. In 1960, Deanna and the Belmonts broke up. In 1963, the Beatles recorded I Want to Hold Your Hand. In 1968, record producer Quincy Jones married actress Ula Anderson. In 1975, Maurice Gibb of the Bee Gees married his wife, Yvonne Spensley. In 1982, entertainer extraordinaire Mr. Robert Goulet married manager Vera Novak. In 1989, a 6.9 earthquake hit San Francisco, California, killing 63 people and injuring scores of others. From a musical standpoint, the band Four Non Blondes was supposed to have their very first practice together in the Bay Area that day, but postponed it for obvious reasons. The earthquake wasn't a bad omen for them, though. They eventually hit it big with the song What's Up. And lead singer and songwriter Linda Perry became an award-winning producer and songwriter in her own right. In 1997, hip-hop artist Warren G. sued Garth Brooks for copyright infringement over the use of a logo for the letter G. In 2000, George Michael paid one and a half million British pounds for the piano that John Lennon wrote the song Imagine on during an auction. In 2009, Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails married singer-songwriter Mara Queen Mandig. In 2017, the group Stray Kids was formed, and in 2020, the movie version of David Byrne's Broadway show American Utopia debuted on HBO. In classical music, in 1707, Johann Sebastian Bach married his cousin Maria Barbara Bach. Yes, marrying cousins was a thing, I guess. Meanwhile, in 1825, classical composer Franz Liszt premiered his first opera, Don Sanche. In 1831, Felix Mendelssohn premiered his first piano concerto in G. And in 1975, the National Symphony Orchestra in Washington, D.C. became the first symphony in America since 1954 to perform live on an American television network. In theater, in 1960, the musical Tenderloin opened on Broadway. In 1965, the musical On a Clear Day You Could See Forever opened on Broadway. In 1967, the musical Hair premiered at the New York Shakespeare Festival. In 1974, the musical Don't Bother Me, I Can't Cope closed on Broadway. And in 1979, the musical Beatlemania closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on October 17th in 2019 at the Q Magazine Awards, which were held in London, England, Lana Del Rey's song Video Games was named the Song of the Decade. Albums that were released in the UK on October 17th include in 1994 when Jamiroquai released The Return of the Space Cowboy. Meanwhile in America, in 1964, the Rolling Stones released 12 by 5. In 1966, the Cry and Shames released Sugar and Spice. In 1968, the Easy Beats released Vigil. In 1970, the Jazz Crusaders released Old Socks, New Shoes, New Socks, Old Shoes. In 1975, Little Feet released the last record album. In 1977, Leonard Skinner released Street Survivors, which was released three days before their now infamous plane crash that killed lead singer Ronnie Van Zant and guitarist Steve Gaines. We discuss more about that actual plane crash on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already premiered on this network as you are listening to this sentence right now. Please like, subscribe, and do all that algorithm stuff. Meanwhile, in 1980, Dire Straits released Making Movies. In 1983, The Doors released Alive She Cried. 
In 1985, the compilation album The Blasting Concept Volume 2 was released. In 1986, Stacy Q released Better Than Heaven. In 1988, Steve Earle released Copperhead Road, R.E.M. released Epinimus, and the Waterboys released Fisherman's Blues. In 1989, Belinda Carlisle released Runaway Horses. Stacy Ladisov released What You Need. Ingve Malstein released Trial by Fire Live in Leningrad. Billy Joel released Stormfront, and Kiss released Hot in the Shade. In 1991, Skyclad released The Wayward Sons of Mother Earth. In 1995, Luis Miguel released El Concierto, and Steely Dan released Alive in America. In 2000, Tupac released The Rose That Grew From Concrete, David Coverdale released Into the Light, Limp Bizkit released Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavored Water, which actually became a big hit. And the specials released Skinhead Girl. In 2006, Sarah McLaughlin released Winter Song. Troy Shondell released this time the best of Troy Shondell. The Tragically Hip released World Container. And Aerosmith released Devil's Got a New Disguise, the very best of Aerosmith. In 2008, Chris Isaac released Chris Isaac Live in Australia. In 2009, Rod Stewart released Soul Book. In 2014, Manfred Mann released Lone Arranger. And also on that same day, Aretha Franklin released Aretha Franklin Sings the Great Diva Classics. Singles that were released in the UK on October 17th include in 1975 when the Doobie Brothers released Sweet Maxine, and in 1977 Slade released My Baby Left Me, That's Alright Mama. Meanwhile, in America, in 1961, the Tokens released The Lion Sleeps Tonight. In 1969, the band released Up on Cripple Creek. In 1971, The Temptations released Superstar, Remember How You Got Where You Are. In 1983, Duran Duran released Union of the Snake. In 1984, The Go-Go's released Turn to You. In 1988, The Traveling Wilburys released Handle with Care. In 1989, Kiss released Hide Your Heart. And in 1994, Pink Floyd released High Hopes. Ace of Bass released Living in Danger. And The Rolling Stones released Out of Tears. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 17th include rapper and Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Eminem, Wyclef Jean of the Fugees, composer Herbert Howells, reggae singer Ziggy Marley, Chris Kirkpatrick of NSYNC, David St. Hubbins of Spinal Tap, otherwise known these days as singer and actor Michael McKeon. Alan West of Obituary, Renee Diff of Aqua, country music great Alan Jackson, Gary Puckett of Gary Puckett and the Union Gap, Jim Seals of Seals and Croft, country music singer Earl Thomas Conley, Janine Deckers of The Singing Nun, Rico Rodriguez of The Specials, jazz drummer Crozy Cole, jazz performer John Clifford Mosley Jr., Bill Hudson of the Hudson Brothers, Alan Howard of the Tremolos, jazz guitarist Barney Kessel, Michael Hasek of the Doobie Brothers, Jim Tucker of the Turtles, bassist Pino Palladino, singer Queen Nija, Chris Motionless of Motionless and White, rapper Booba Savage, singer Tarkan, singer Dami M, and rapper Lil Wap 17. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 17th include composer Peter Winter, who passed away in 1825 at the age of 71. Composer Johann Hummel passed away in 1837 at the age of 58. Composing great Frederick Chopin passed away in 1849 at the age of 39. Composer Prosper Sainton passed away in 1890 at the age of 77. Composer Isidore Sandstrom passed away in 1897 at the age of 84. Composer Nikolai Amani passed away in 1904 at the age of 32. 
Composer Nicola Spinelli passed away in 1909 at the age of 44. Composer Pavel Haas was killed at the Auschwitz concentration camp during World War II in 1944 at the age of 45. Jazz singer Rubberlegs Williams passed away in 1962 at the age of 55. Opera director Vineland Wagner passed away in 1966 at the age of 49. Singer Billy Williams passed away in 1972 at the age of 62. Composer Vittorio Gui passed away in 1975 at the age of 90. Composer Carol Reiner passed away in 1979 at the age of 69. Composer David Guion passed away in 1981 at the age of 88. Singer Mornier Morad passed away in 1981 at the age of 59. Blues singer extraordinaire Miss Alberta Hunter passed away in 1984 at the age of 89. Country music singing great Tennessee Ernie Ford passed away in 1991 at the age of 72. Chris Oliva of the group Sabotage passed away in a car accident in 1993 at the age of 30. Conductor Berthold Goldschmidt passed away in 1996 at the age of 93. Christopher Ackland of the group Lush passed away from mental health issues in 1996 at the age of 30. Joaquin Nielsen of Yock and Valentinern passed away from drug issues in 2000 at the age of 36. Composer Jay Livingston passed away in 2001 at the age of 86. Derek Bell of the Chieftains passed away from heart issues in 2002 at the age of 66. Singer Uzi Hitman passed away in 2004 at the age of 52. Jazz singer Teresa Brewer passed away in 2007 at the age of 76. The legendary Mr. Levi Stubbs of the Four Tops passed away in 2008 at the age of 72. Composer Vic Mizzy passed away in 2009 at the age of 93. Rapper Three Pac, not to be confused obviously with Tupac, passed away in 2015 at the age of 24. Composer Ingvar Lindholm passed away in 2017 at the age of 24. The legendary Mr. Gordon Downey of the group The Tragically Hip passed away from glioblastoma in 2017 at the age of 53. The Canadian treasure that he was. Ali Herbert of the group All That Remains passed away in 2018 at the age of 49. Pianist Marta Kurtag passed away in 2019 at the age of 92. And jazz pianist, composer, and band leader Carla Blay passed away in 2023 at the age of 87. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 18th, when in 2011, the Stone Roses announced their reunion. 